Anyways, um, so yesterday I had some wine. Yes, I bought some cheap wine for like seven ninety nine. I was recommended it because, like, supposedly I was gonna be pretty good, 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 pretty good. I don't know anything about wine. Like, typically I would go to the gas station and try out all the different beers. All the different spiked seltzers, all the different fruity concoctions with alcohol in it. And honestly, 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 um, I got a little bit addicted to it because, like, I was depressed, I was stressed. But, 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 I would always have to quit every now and then because it would make me gain weight or, like, over time, it would just make me feel really, really sick to drink alcohol. But I do think, you know, I was using it as a crutch. I was using it to feel better. And, you know, for a short-term relief uh, from stress and frustration. But, I don't know. I haven't had alcohol in, like, three or four months until yesterday. Um, you know, again, I didn't know anything about wine, so I kind of wanted to try some wine, you know, that was recommended. Because there were a couple times where, like, I went to the store and I wanted to buy some wine to try it out. But there were so many options, and I didn't know where to begin, so I was just like, screw it. I'm just gonna buy, like, you know, a 200 calorie spiked seltzer, like, a truly a truly, like a truly, like a freaking truly, or even like a freaking for 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 loco, which has a lot more alcohol. Um, anyway, I um got the wine and I tried it, and yeah, it tastes. It was red wine, basically, so it tasted like grape juice. It tasted like grape juice, but like the alcohol made it taste terrible. And it was, like, pretty strong tasting. So, I, I really didn't like the flavor of it. I had one glass, um, and I felt a bit buzzed, because apparently wine actually does have a fairly high percentage of alcohol, usually. So, I had, like, a little wine glass, and, um, yeah, I felt a little buzzed. So, later in the day, I decided to have a little bit more... And I couldn't even finish the glass because it just tasted so rancid, honestly. It tasted like grape juice, but like the alcohol just like really just ruined it, honestly. And again, it was kind of like overly strong and pungent. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not that good at wine. But, you know, I, I think it was mainly the alcohol was making me feel like I was being, you know, it made me feel terrible, you know. It tasted like, you know, it was not not meant to be drinked. So alcohol is really bad for you. You know, it has all these side effects, adverse effects and stuff. Because it's basically like poison, you know. It's basically, 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 basically like poison. So I uh, did not finish the second glass. And I just threw out the rest of it. I think there was a little bit less than half left. So I did drink a, a fair amount of it, um, but still, like, I couldn't even finish the second glass. So, um, yeah, so that was the first time I had alcohol in, like, three or four months. And honestly, even other alcohols taste like that, you know? Alcohol, like, you know, especially in high quantities, like 12% alcohol, even 8% alcohol. It's really pungent. It's 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 really awful tasting. It burns a lot of times. It just doesn't taste good. And honestly, it makes me feel sick. It's kind of like smoking cigarettes or even vaping. I've tried to get addicted to sm smoking cigarettes and like I just can't. Like I don't get addicted to it. It just instead it just makes me feel like I have a cold. My, my throat hurts, you know, I, I 
just, if my throat feels dry, my, you know, it just, it just makes me feel sick, like I have a cold, you know. And if I keep smoking to try to get something out of it, I end up, you know, feeling nauseated. And so it literally just makes me feel sick. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't work for me. I think I actually am one of the few people that uh, cannot get addicted to nicotine. Because, again, I tried vaping a couple of times. And um, it, it did something very similar to the cigarettes. I know it doesn't have as much bad stuff in it as cigarettes. But, like, the vaping, it, it made me feel like I had a cold as well. And if I vaped a lot, you know, it just made me feel sicker and sicker. And I would get nothing out of it. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm finally, like, complete. I think my state of mind changed about alcohol. Over time, my state of mind changed. Because I had a support... I, I finally got a support system that told me to stop drinking. That told me how bad alcohol was. I mean, I already knew it was bad, and I, you know, I hated the fact that I was addicted to it, to try to relieve stress and unhappiness, but it was always very short-term relief, you know, usually I would wake up with a hangover, or I would drink too much, and I would just feel miserable, or sometimes, like, I would drink some, and, like, it wouldn't have the effect I wanted so it would just be a bunch of extra calories and make me feel sick and I wouldn't even get any short term relief so, so a lot of times it was hit or miss hit or miss hit or miss if the alcohol was actually going to be effective in any remotely good way but at the end of the day um, you know it's kind of weird my state of mind about alcohol changed. I think it really changed. And it's a relief, honestly. Um, I haven't had an energy drink in a long time, but I think I'm gonna eventually try another. Just, just to see how, um, my body reacts to it. And again, um, I do not like the taste of most energy drinks. I literally ended up whittling it down to just one flavor and that was monster uh sunrise monster ultra sunrise like that was the last energy drink that i could tolerate and i actually tried it you know a, a few months ago and i didn't like the taste of it so i'm gonna try it probably one more time but i never thought I would quit energy drinks. Um, and I thought, you know, I was gonna drink alcohol and every now and then or something, you know. But, um, yeah, I don't, I can't, I, I mean, I think maybe I built up a intolerance to alcohol. You know, because that was bad. That was bad. Like, I just, uh, I just felt sick. The, the buzz that I was getting from the alcohol was not worth, you know, the, the taste and the feeling of it. So again, I made a video um, talking about prohibition the other day. Prohibition, prohibition, prohibition. And that was about, like, the, the wives and the women trying to get their men to stop drinking. And that's basically what happened to me. The women in my life got me to stop drinking. So yeah.
to work out today. I gotta say, I feel so much better than I did a few months ago. Because I've been getting a lot more social interaction and I feel quite a bit better. You know, there's a lot of people that are stressed, that are lonely, that are unhappy. You know. And it's nice to get some, like, healthy relief from it all. From friendships. Friendships is magic. Friendships is magic. Anyways. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah. See you guys a little bit.